From the very beginning, we believe that this claim was a spurious one. It was unsubstantiated, and we're glad that um, Justice Abel was able to give a decision so overwhelmingly in our favor and dismiss all nine or all 14 um, claims in this matter. I think it was important that Justice Abel pointed out that this is really an internal political matter and the courts have no business interfering in internal political matters. On the matter of the, the service, I, I, mean, I must say that the claim, which I just, I have not been served with the claim, um, neither was uh, Ms. Lemmy Joosha, she's out of the country. And really the claim revolved around baseless and false accusations against her, statements made by her. And it's unfortunate and really um, discouraging to see a member of the party make claims against a sitting member of the National Executive, a member of the ODS, and uh, of course the chairperson of the vetting committee. But it seems that they would have stooped at anything to get their way. So I'm glad that the court was able to see through it and give us a judgment that we believe is the right one. We've spoken about perhaps um, formalizing the procedures when it comes to vetting of candidates and selection of candidates. But what I can state for the record, one, that the process that we use this year and we continue to use it because some conventions are still upcoming is one that we've used in the past is to create the national executive creates a vetting committee made up of members of the national executive that vetting committee vets all applications for all the constituencies for all applicants and then they make recommendations to the national executive and the national executive decides if they are going to accept it or not